always start off with something where we start to break down a problem that they already know and already think about because um, we don't want our kids to be intimidated when it comes to learning about coding and robotics. We want it to be fun and we want them to know that they're already doing algorithms every day. Um, so we start with the definition of algorithm and then we go into how they use those algorithms every day in math, in the English class, um, maybe even in their daily routine. And then we have them program uh, a rather stubborn robot, so that's me the teacher, and they have to program me to do a certain task. So we start simple with just a simple shape that they have to draw. Um, and then once they've kind of mastered giving instructions, um, we step it up into something that's more complicated and they have to kind of start thinking about how to break that down. Uh, this week, we're gonna start getting into robotics and we're gonna learn how to program a robot. Um, really, the, the biggest piece of advice is if you can connect those algorithms to a student's daily life or what they're learning in other classes, it's gonna really help them become less intimidated by algorithms. You may have a procedure for how they enter your room or how they turn in work. Any of those kinds of procedures that you can help them understand, we broke this procedure down in steps and this is an algorithm that you do every day to help us be more efficient in class. So you guys are gonna practice creating algorithms for a robot today. Um, I am your robot and I'm kind of a stubborn robot. So in this lesson that I did and in other lessons, um, sometimes students get frustrated. Lily, how do I fix this? Um, on your left side of the blue we kind of, as a class, we stopped. Okay, let's stop as a class and talk about some vocabulary that we might need. <laughs> how do I fix this? <laughs> And then start from the left side of the blue and draw it down. And then stop. Okay. Yeah? All right. Um, the trick is kind of give them an enough productive struggle that they are challenged, but not in too much where they just shut down. Um, in this particular lesson, it's a lot of fun. I can kind of be humorous with it and be silly and be a silly robot. And so it kind of helps the kids kind of break down from feeling like they don't know what to do, but it's okay because we're laughing about it. Um, erase the top half of the red line. Top half. Thank you. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> undo, undo, a universal undo. Is that what we're doing? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so with me being a silly robot and I'm gonna do all kinds of crazy things, it's gonna drive them to find their version of specific. So that could be measurement in inches and, or length of some sort. It could be time, it could be draw until they tell me to stop. Um, but each class is gonna find their own way to solve that problem. One of the things that we were trying to get to today, one of the things that we're trying to get to today is use our tools appropriately. Are there other ways for me to think about the length of a line? Ooh, a parallel. I like that instruction. The end of the orange line. This was the end of the orange line. Going down? Okay, so this is the orange line. Okay, and then make a horizontal line. And that's what needs to happen. They need to know that there's so many different ways to, that they can solve a problem. It's just getting to that solution that's the, the important part. The students um, need some time to reflect they may have just seen algorithm for the first time and programmed uh, a robot uh, for the first time. They need time to think about and break down what, what went well in this activity and what didn't. No, a red line? Oh, draw a blue line? How am I supposed to draw a blue line with this marker? Oh, I need to get a blue marker. Okay, now, <laughs> Michael. Okay, draw a blue line. <laughs> All right, so we got that one done. So what, what did we learn from that? Somebody tell me something that they realized that we were doing incorrectly. Okay, yeah. You can't just give them like, instruction. You gotta give them like, specific things. Yeah, so specific instructions. So when we get into robots, a robot is only gonna do exactly what you tell it to. All right, and so if you tell it to go forward, it's just gonna keep going until you tell it to stop, right? So like when I'm drawing this line and I'm going all the way over here, you didn't tell me to stop. You didn't tell me how far to go. You just told me to go, right? So they're only gonna do exactly what you tell them to. I mean, it's a real world scenario. Sometimes you're on a team with people that are gonna help lift you up and sometimes you're on a team with people that kind of steer you in the wrong direction. Um, so how can you recover from that? How did we recover from that as a class? So I think that reflection um, is critical for the students so that they can, can really process their learning for the day. Mm -hmm.